Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the International Wrestling Society presents the Summer Showdown Location Sportatorium in the year 1988 because in the International Wrestling Society, anything is possible. Our match, the first match of the night is Bobby Eaton. With his manager, Jim Cornett, versus from Portland, Oregon, I think it's actually from Las Vegas, Nevada, Playboy Buddy Rose. Alright, this was a pretty good match. A lot of back and forth. Jim Cornett interfered a couple times, uh, finally ended up with uh, basically an all out brawl outside the ring. All three wrestlers were disqual dis uh, disqualified, and it ended with Buddy Rose basically chasing Jim Cornette and Bobby Eaton out of the arena with a large 2x4. I don't know where the 2x4 came from. I seriously don't know what those people came out of that ring. But yeah, so that was a pretty exciting first match. And then our next match, we have a debut here, folks, in the International Wrestling Society. You've seen in my videos, well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is time for his first match, Jeremy the Ace Emi. Let me give you a rundown of what Jeremy's costume is for you guys who don't know here. Uh, pink t-shirt with a blue diamond on front. On the back are the words Emi's Fight. In crimson khaki shorts, old shoes, black knee pads, black elbow pads, and black goggles. His entrance theme is Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne. And his opponent in his first ever debut match, ladies and gentlemen, was the Invincible Kraken. That's right, folks. Jeremy is not wasting any time here. This was another great, fo a great fight, folks. It looked like Kraken. I Kraken had Jeremy on the ropes. Kraken is a crafty wing veteran, folks. We know that for sure. But Jeremy managed to counter and use his devastating finisher taught to him by Diamond Dallas Page himself, the Ace Cutter. Yes, folks. Jeremy, the Ace EMI, has won his debut match against the Invincible Kraken. But, is this the beginning of a feud? Will Kraken let this stand? Or will he be back with me? I don't know, folks. I'm worried about my brother. So no telling what will happen. Our next match here, folks. A couple of favorites from the old World Class Championship Wrestling. That's right, we got King Kong Bundy versus... Terry, Bam Bam, Gordy. This is a battle of the giants, folks. I really did not expect what happened here. I mean, you thought it was main true when Andre, when Hulk Hogan picked up Andre once. Let me tell you, Terry Gordy, who weighs 289 pounds, lift up, lift it up. Mr. 446 pounds, King Kong Bundy, not once, not twice, but five times, folks. And put him away with his finish, with, um, with the Bam Bam Slam for the three count. I mean, it was an amazing match, folks. You should have been there. And our final match of the night. Something that could not happen anywhere else, folks. It's a hardcore DQ match between the legendary... World Class Championship Wrestling star Bruiser Brody versus the ECW icon The Sandman. Oh, it was brutal, folks. It was no DQ. There were tables, smashes, chairs, chains, everything. Beer bottles did not get broken. Sandman mostly drank those. Don't ask. Let me tell you, we did a num. I think the contestants are going to be very upset on the. Uh, Price clock is in for the beers. Oh, boy. Seriously. How many cans did that guy fit in his pocket? Anyways, in the end of that, you came down to the Sandman's trusty Singapore cane. Bam! It took like multiple, uh, took, like, I think four or five shots with the Singapore cane before Bruiser Brody went down. But he went down, he went down hard, folks. And unfortunately, so did our Spanish house table. I am not making any friends with the Hispanic community today, am I? 
But it was a great match, folks. And this could this be the beginning of a feud? I don't think Bruiser Brody's going to take this line down, folks. So stay tuned for the International Wrestling Society, and we'll let you know what's coming up. What what might happen next to these upcoming events? Remember, folks, anything can happen in the IWS, and anything does. <laughs>